Welcome back in the module four, wherein we're going to get started with monitoring our resources. So far, we have created a bunch of pipelines. We've created data flows. We saw how you could just use uh, joins. You could select and you could run some aggregation on top of your data. Um, there were situation when few of our pipelines or few of our activity data flows failed and in a production workload once you've created and published your pipeline you want to associate it, it with some sort of monitoring right you want to you want to make sure that you monitor all of your pipelines um, natively in the Azure data fa factory and uh, Azure data factory has got an inbuilt monitoring system so that you don't have to set up anything uh, on top of it everything is available we just need to configure it uh, just need to see how uh, we we just can utilize uh, the monitoring functionality of azure data factory so you want to make sure the uh, whenever your pipelines or activities or any of your uh, task in your data factory has failed you want to make sure that you should or one of the admins or data engineers or scientists or the project managers should be alerted now in a conventional way, how would you do it with Airflow? So Airflow is the direct competitor of a uh, uh, data factory as per me. So we would create a DAG, you would need to run a Python uh, operator or a bash operator, and then you need to schedule it. And you So there is some sort of effort. However, with Azure Data Factory, you can just go to your monitor section on your plane. And you can just start monitoring all of your activity together over here. So if you see over here, there are pipeline runs, trigger runs. In the pipeline runs, you have got your individual runs of a specific uh, pipeline. If you click on any of them, you see that which one has failed and why it failed actually. Uh, it failed on the first step and what was the error. If you click on that, you get a more uh, verbose logging of your error. So it shows you the error code, details, source. Uh, failure type and all sort of information available in the user properties so and you could just um, if, you, if you feel like rerunning the pipeline you could just do it right from here and uh, uh, rerun your pipeline and check whether uh, what 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 it cost the failure so you could just always uh, consume it and if you go to the pipeline again um, you could just uh, um, see the consumption report as well how much uh, uh, how much di hour it consumed what was the execution time um, and, and you can uh, see all sort of uh, um, uh, calculations of your runtime if you notice over here there's a list view which is the current view all of the pipelines run start end time duration all of the details over here you get a grant view as well in the grant view chart uh, is a view that allows you to see the run history over a time range uh, by switching to a grant view you can uh, see all the pipelines grouped together now you don't have a list in front of you rather a group together and you, once you hover over it you would see that uh, how long it took um, you can group them by annotation as well and you can see all of the details that what was the uh, duration deviation what was the longest time shortest time what was the action taken uh, you could just do it for the field one as well and you can check the status um, you could obviously filter it using the filter button or also uh, group by annotation so you could just um, uh, group all of your pipeline by annotation tags that you have created on your pipeline so yeah this was the holistic view of your um, uh, pipeline um, and how you could just uh, switch to Gantt view and all of those features let's talk about alert you want to what we are interested is whenever our pipeline has failed or whenever something has gone wrong we want to make sure that um, we get an alert so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna click on new alert rule and probably I'm gonna use for failed pipeline and that because that's what we've learned so far everything is going to be under the pipeline give it a description pipeline failing alert probably do a spell check all right so now you can decide the severity as well so if you consider uh, probably this would be different in your dev or non-product staging environment however for production um, your failure pipeline would be probably somewhere between sev0 to sev1 if not sev2 uh, because whenever you, your pipeline comprises of many of the tasks and you want to make sure that whenever uh, any of those pipeline fails you uh, want to get alerted 
and then um, you could just uh, select the criteria now there are multiple criteria available at the moment it's not either failed or successful there are a lot of anomalies you could just set um, maybe somebody has cancelled any activity run somebody has cancelled any pipeline SS integration runtime has failed what we are interested in is the failed pipeline however you could just see that a lot of other uh, generic alerts metrics already available like the available memory CPU utilization queue length duration uh, whenever the pipeline has succeeded and uh, if the total number of factory size ha is more than certain number of GB so what we're gonna do is we're gonna start with the failed pipeline we're gonna continue it and I'm um, now I'm gonna use the uh, dimensions which against it's gonna run so obviously it's gonna show the history over the last six hours uh, and now I can select the dimension so as soon as you select the dimension it gives you all the activities you have in your pipeline in your Azure data factory so I've got only one um, one uh, pipeline at the moment because I generally delete, delete all of them so just to save the cost so I'm still gonna select all of them and now uh, what I'm interested is I'm probably interested in user error system error bad gateway probably all of them and once I do that I want to make sure that whenever um, number of failed pipelines is more than one greater than one just throw an alert probably over the last uh, five minutes one minute I'm gonna select the minimal time and uh, how, how frequently you wanna uh, throw the alert one minute one uh, one hour and uh, depending on how long you wanna take uh, the action upon that failure you just add the criteria so I'm gonna click on add criteria now I'm gonna configure the notification how do you want to no get notified um, admin alert short name gonna be I'm gonna keep it same now add the notification whether it's gonna be an email SMS or a phone call so I'm gonna use my email which is aks devops shan outlook.com and then I could just use the SMS also I'm gonna give it a random number and then you could just use a push notification or voice as well currently is not available for all the countries so that's probably something I uh, would defer to do it now I'm gonna put the add notification and click on the add action group and that's gonna that's gonna um, configure the alert for you all right um, I'll just edit the phone number um, Nine eight zero 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 one two three four five. All right, and notification. By the way, that was not the real number, uh, so that I don't want to get uh, all these spams. I'm just going to create the alert. Once I'm create the alert, this alert uh, would be uh, binded with your um, notification, which you have set. And whenever something has failed, uh, you would get a notification I'm also interested in successful uh, pipeline because initially I want to monitor everything uh, and uh, this is this is probably not a, a high severity so I'm gonna put it as a 4 and um, configure notification use the existing one I'm gonna use the existing one which we have already created add action group I'm gonna add the criteria so there was some, something called as successful pipeline men metrics that's what I'm going to use add the criteria and I'm going to create the rule again so you should have the rules popping up so now whenever your pipeline is successful or failed um, it's going to throw up an alert you see that all of your uh, alerts are now created and whenever they the the criteria are met they would be triggered so we have kind of done with the setup and now whenever we run the pipeline and uh, it, it might just fail or get successful we should start getting it um, get, start getting alerts uh, in case of failures or successful the bunch of other options we saw and they were uh, basically generally um, be on, on your production requirement uh, and these are updated on uh, on a very regular uh, basis so keep an eye on them and uh, if there are 
few of the metrics which are missing you might see them upcoming in the future as well i hope this was informative and you should be able to integrate with your azure data factory pipeline as well thank you